a tray breaks during a strong and the broken parts bend so that the top of the tree touches the ground making an angle of 30 degree with it the distance between the foot of the tree to the point where the top touches the ground is 8 meter find the height of the tree so first <coughs> let us consider here a tree which means here a vertical line we can consider here a tree now consider a ground here a ground now <coughs> the tree breaks so let <coughs> we can select here a point from there the tree will break the broken part bend in such a way it touches the ground making an angle of 30 degree so now the broken part we can bend in such a way it makes an angle with the ground that is a 30 degree and the distance between the foot of the tree and the top of the tree which is given here 8 meter after that here we need to find the height of the tree so here we can consider the ground and a tree at this point they can form a perpendicular level here a letter a b c and d so now here we know that the length cd and ac are of same length so we can just assume here y so this also will be y and after that bc we can assume here that is uh, letter x now we need to find here the height of the tree that means here according to our figure here the height of the tree will be this full length that is b d so now here to find the height of the tree we can assume the total height of the tree so let the height of the tree be according to our figure here we have now b d so consider here b d meter so now first i need to find here b c if not c d so from the given figure we can see that here the distance between the top of the tree and the foot of the tree which is equals to 8 meter and after that here bc which is equals to we are assuming x like this here cd which is also equals to ac that is equal to we are taking here y units and the equit angle which is equal to angle a so b ac we can consider here b ac equals to 30 degree so now here my target is to get the value of x and y so that with the help of x and y we can get the height of the tree now we can consider here the triangle here that is in right triangle we have a b c so to get the value of x here what we can do here take the ratio of since here x opposite side and here 8 meter that is given here adjacent side so <clears throat> what ratio can be formed with the help of opposite and adjacent so that is yes that we can take the ratio of 10 angle we have here 30 degree equals to so now 10 theta is equals to opposite side so according to our diagram here opposite side we have leveled bc and that of the adjacent side ab so after that here 10 30 degree take the value 10 30 degree value is 1 divided by root 3 which is also equals to bc we have level x divided by ab which is f now take here a cross multiplication we get here x root 3 also equals to f now therefore we need a value of x equals to we have here 8 divided by root 3 now you'll have to rationalize x equals to 8 divided by root 3 multiplying by root 3 on both the places we get here that is a x equals to so here 8 root 3 upon root 3 in the root 3 equals to yes that is 3 meter so that will be the value of x but here to get the height of a tree we need a value of y so here if you refer to the right angle triangle y which <coughs> represents here the hypotenuse side of the right angle triangle if a question is related with the hypotenuse side then we take the ratio of the sine theta so again here we can take the triangle the same triangle again here again that is a in 
triangle the same triangle we can apply here a b c like i said here since here i need the hypotenuse side so to get the hypotenuse side what you'll have to do take the help of the ratio that is sine theta so taking here the sine theta is equal to we have here 30 degree equals to sine means opposite so opposite according to our diagram we have here b c and the hypotenuse side a c now take the value of sine 30 degree so we know that sine 30 degree is equals to 1 by 2 equals to bc x divided by ac we have here y now here take a cross multiplication so now taking the cross multiplication we get here now which is equals to that is a x equals to we get here a what will be the value here so that is <coughs> instead of x here we are to x now y also equals to take the value of x so 2 into x we already proved that above here at root 3 divided by 3 so now give the reason here since x equals to we have at root 3 divided by 3 now <coughs> y equals to this two we can multiply so we get here at choose are 16 root 3 divided by 3 meter now we have got the value of x also y also then we can find the height of a tree then here which is equals to height of the tree we have taken there bd if you refer the diagram bd is also the sum of yes that is bc plus cd bc we have labeled here x plus cd we have labeled here that is y take the value of x x value we have got here at root 3 divided by 3 plus y value we have here 16 root 3 divided by 3 now we need to take here the lcm so what will be the lcm of these two yes <coughs> now So after this we can take the lcm so the lcm of 3 and 3 will be it will be 3 so now since denominator places are same value numerator place we take the same here at root 3 plus the other one 16 root 3 which is equals to now here 8 plus this equals to 24 root 3 divided by 3 so 3 table we get here 24 so 3 into how many times Yes, that is <coughs> three into at root three is the original height of a tree.